Well, today she's going to speak about how you can improve your intuition. So let's give a massive round of applause for our Hi everyone, I will come today with a question for you. Uh, if you ever regretted that you listened to your intuition or you were happy you did, and I want you to lift one hand up or two. And I think intuition is very important <coughs> and I want to share with you two stories from my life. First one, when I was 18 years old, I was doing professional skydiving. And I, f I, f I jumped many times from the plane. So one day, I decided, and one day, particular day, I felt that I shouldn't jump. But I made a mistake not to listen. I thought I'm scared. And I jumped. And I had an accident because a storm was coming. And when it's coming storm or strong winds, you shouldn't jump uh, because you have no control of a parachute. And because of that, not listening. I had an accident and I, I fractured my left ankle, which until today I can't run, jump, I completely lost uh, the range of movement in it. And from the moment, that moment I decided that I will, I will listen to my intuition. So five years later, I went in Germany with a friend of mine in uh, Frankfurt. We stayed for a month to her uncle uh, and we shared the same bedroom. And I've been with her in, in, in a restaurant, waiting for some friends to take us out to show us the town. And out of the sudden, I had a strong feeling that I don't want to go. And I felt all my body like burning, a burning sensation. And I said to my friend, I want to go home now. All my face, I felt like, I feel my face is like burning and I feel like so hot. Can you go home now? And she said, yes, you don't look good. And she touched me and said, do you have fever? Oh, you're right. I said, no, I don't have fever. I just I feel I want to go home. So we went home. We canceled everything. When I got in the house, out of the sudden, my redness, my heart, completely gone. And I felt very peaceful. So good, like nothing. Like a deep peace in my mind, in my soul. So we went in the bedroom, I said, okay, it's late, let's go to sleep. And when we get in our bedroom, my friends forgot uh, her candles burning. And I said to her, okay, don't forget when you go to sleep, just uh, you know, switch off the candle. But because she was a devoted Christian, she all the time was praying. So we slept, and after a few hours, I woke up in the night, and I saw fire in front of my eyes. I switched on the lights, and the candle, uh, and there was a book near the candle, which was on fire. And the candle was atop on a um, TV, and it's starting to melting. So I wake up and I switch off the fire, but I don't want to think what would have happened if I would have been gone outside in that evening. So that was a thing that I will never regret it, that I listened to my intuition, and was really important. So they say, like, Steve Jobs called intuition more powerful than intellect. Albert Einstein call it the sacred gift. Intuition is set, it's what sets apart the brilliant from the average. And today, I will tell you five ways you can improve your intuition. <laughs> One, follow your vision. If you use it, your vision will show you what is in alignment in your life and what is not. Visualize the outcome of your action. Two, when you're mindful, you hear and listen to your intuition better because you're aware of your body language signals and you act, quick, act quicker. Three, trust your gut. Donald Trump admits, I've built a multi-billion empire by using my intuition. Four, pay attention to your dreams. Our subconscious, or soul, if you wish, it will often be the voice of your truest and highest self. At night, dreams show us important clues. Harriet Tubman relied on her dreams to lead 300 slaves to safety. Einstein dreamed many of his, of his theories. 
four, um, no, sorry, five, tune to synchronicity. Listen to the, to the cues your body gives you. Is there a burning sensation in your chest? Do you have butterflies in your stomach? Goosebumps? Do you see the same book titles three times in a row? What is the song on radio saying to you? Maybe you watched a movie and the main character seemed to be speaking directly to your life? There is a whole thread of messages and activity going in the world just beneath the surface. If you turn into the little details, you might just find your way to answer. You never expect it. Thank you.